during the Falkland War, um, quite a few British soldiers they got shot to pieces with this Swiss armory. This is a 35 millimeter gun, shooting about a thousand rounds a minute. If you consider the two barrels, it's uh, Switzerland and um, 35 millimeters. Some soldiers they they got shot to pieces literally when their bodies exploded, taking in a 35 millimeter cannon round in their bodies, and a Harrier got shot down. So how is it possible this so-called neutral country <laughs> is killing British soldiers? An RAF Harrier was shot down by these cannons over Goose Green on May 27th. The system was also employed in direct fire mode against British paratroopers during the Battle of Goose Green, killing two and wounding 11 and stopping the advance of two companies. So here's the Swiss Ehrlichan 35mm uh, Skyguard weapon that was used not only as an AA but against uh, human bodies, soldiers. So your whole body will explode if you get hit by one of those. So that happened to two British soldiers who got shot to pieces literally by Swiss weapons of Octagon Switzerland, the Erlingen Nazi uh, weapon manufacturer, is still killing people. So, in fact, without Switzerland and the very sophisticated Swiss Erlingen weapons as the Sky Guard, these young British soldiers would still be alive and with their families. And Swiss weapons are responsible for their death. Just as Erlingen already had massive quantities of weapons and ammunition produced for the Nazis during World War II and just as the Swiss pro-Nazi pro Red Cross gave thousands of Red Cross passes to German Nazis like Mengele, Barbie, Eichmann and thousands of others so they could escape through the Red Line to, yes, Argentina again the same Argentina as from the Falkland War so during the Falkland War, young British soldiers died because of the Nazi connection. Switzerland, Argentina, being shot to pieces with 35mm Swiss weaponry. Switzerland, where the British royal family are having their annual ski holiday in Klosters. And don't give a damn that some members of their royal regiment get shot to pieces with weapons from the same neutral country where they enjoy their holidays inside the Nazi connection. Well, who cries about a few British subjects anyway? We'll give them a military funeral, a medal and one of our royal smiles and they'll forget it all. Most important are the international relations with Octagon, our holiday resort and where we've got our wealth stashed inside the Swiss caves of Octagon. Well here we can see the uh, the funeral of Margaret Thatcher who gave the orders to the Falkland War on a Freemason checkerboard and in the middle is the, is the symbol of Octagon of Switzerland of the Templars And here too is the octagon symbol at Margaret Thatcher's funeral. I mean, what warrior takes orders from a woman like that? I mean, what thing is it anyway of all those sort of warriors or soldiers or whatever they are taking orders from just one woman to kill their brothers in another uniform? What kind of a thing is this? This is this is not the thing that a warrior does. Uh, it's only soldiers. Just wannabe warriors who watch too many Hollywood movies. And they think they're a superhero. But they get shot to pieces anyway by a 35mm Swiss Skyhawk Skyguard uh, cannon. 
by Erlikon, by of the Nazis.